Hello everybody, my name is Franz Wegner, I'm from Germany and today I'm going to show you how you can import models into Pro Wrestling X Uprising. Here is a little example for you. I found this small independent wrestling arena for Google SketchUp. I downloaded it and converted it into an OBJ file with Google SketchUp Pro. And for this tutorial I will just use one part of the barricades you see here and we'll make them part of Pro Wrestling X. Alright, first of all you need the Pro Wrestling X editor by Leftos and Jao Ming. As always the link for the Pro Wrestling X editor is in the video description. First of all we click on to export models and search for our models file which is in the Pro Wrestling X Uprising folder then you go into the data folder and then you choose pwxmd.dat and you simply open it. You get a message which says the models are in your my documents folder. If we switch now into the documents folder you will see another folder which is called Pro Wrestling X Editor and the program created a folder called models and in this folder are all the models for Pro Wrestling X. Don't be surprised because I have installed the tiny trailers arena from Jao Ming and I'm going to edit it a little bit. So then we start our lovely program Fragmotion. Alright, there we have it. And we're going to open an X file, which is a model file. You see it here. These are the models we just have exported. And I am going to edit this file here, hmltoprails.x. I open it. And there I see the barricades at the moment. All right, I switch to the model tab. And now I'm going to import my barricades from the other arena. I go to file and I click merge and I will look after my barricades file. Okay there is my barricade file which is an obj file as I said before so I open that also. Then this window will come up and make sure you don't import any textures or materials. Just the model. Okay so there we have our barricade and I will put it right next to the other barricade. So I will select it and press the button M for move. Take a look if any X is locked and use the left mouse button to move it. Now it's in the right place and now I'm going to scale it a little bit. So I'm pressing the button S and I will scale it up a little bit so it fits with the general looking. So now it looks okay and the next step will be to give the mesh a texture. Let me give you some advice for the textures. Do not ever, really, do not ever change any texture settings in here because you're going to have the bad time otherwise. Let me tell you that. So if you want to use any other texture you will need to import them with the Pro Wrestling X editor here. And in this example there are just four textures. If you have to use more you can always put multiple textures in one image and you can assign parts of the image with UV mapping right here. Because if you change any of these settings the game will crash instantly when the camera is seeing one of the textures which are configured in the wrong way. But back to the tutorial part. I will give this barricade the same texture as the other barricade has. So I make sure it's selected and I'm going to texture and UV mapper. And I will load one of the materials right here. I think I will use one of these. I will zoom a little bit out, uh, maybe I will click remap or something, alright, and I click assign material. I close that the window and if I'm unselecting this barricade I will see the texture is on. If I am in the textured view mode and basically that's everything for the modeling part. Now you just have to export it. So we are going to file and export. 
Make sure you are in the right folder, which is in the documents section, ProResNX Editor and Models. If you don't have the file there, the ProResNX Editor will crash it if you want to import the models. And choose as file type DirectX files. And click on save. Yes, I want to replace. And here comes a very important part. Normally you can choose between text, binary or compressed. But there is a limit of 500,000 bytes every X file can have. So that means any model file for Pro Wrestling X Uprising can only have up to 500,000 bytes, which is a little less than 500 kilobytes. So choose compress and your file will be as small as possible. Now we have to import our model. So we open our ProResNX editor again and click on import models. We search for our model file, which we have created just now. Models and it was in the top rails file, I believe. Well, it is, it should be right here, all right. Open. Now we have to choose a parameters file, which is in the Pro Wrestling X Uprising folder, data, and it is called PWXMDP, and we open that too, and we got a message which says the files are packed on the My Documents section on your computer. And now two new files, which you have to copy to the data folder of ProResNX Uprising and you have to replace the old ones. Yes, I want to replace both. And now I will start ProResNX Uprising and I will take a look if this worked. So let's start ProResNX. X. I'm going to mute the sound effects as always. Back and I will choose to play a mode and play. Hope it does not crash. All right, and there we have, we go a little, little bit to the left, and there we see our barricade. If you place the model more near to the ring, you can go through it. But at the moment, it's out of action place, or however you want to call it. All right, so that's basically everything you need to know about importing models. Make sure when you download models from the internet, Fragmotion accepts the file type. Also make sure you don't load any textures in or change any of the default textures. And last but not least, don't make your X files over 500,000 bytes. So I hope I could help you a little bit and I'm going to see you next time and have a nice day and bye.